Good Sunday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's edition. And as of right now, some very cold numbers across the area. Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen should be looking at 30s for later on today for highs like lower 30s, only like just above freezing 30s. And that's going to be pretty much about it. Winds will be turning out of the southeast today and we'll be picking up more cloud cover. But later on tonight, if I can get over here, more clear skies and winds switching out of the east for just a bit as lows drop into the 20s but with some extra breeze tomorrow morning wafting around the area we will be seeing some low wind chills for the kids at the bus stop as in the teens tomorrow morning so something to think about there if you're going to be out and about for today and especially into very early Monday morning we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit earthquakes in the mid-south nothing to report in the last 24 hours information courtesy of the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and information at the University of Memphis, available at memphis.edu slash CERI. Delays this morning, none to report at Memphis International, so good news. Clear, calm temperatures in the teens out across much of the Mid-South. And likewise, no major delays being reported early Sunday morning around much of the continental United States. I'd like to see more about what's going on with anything involving airport delays from the FAA. Go to the Air Traffic Control System Command Center at fly.faa.gov for more. Temperatures will be rising slowly through the early morning hours, heading for the mid-20s by about mid-morning. And as we go into the rest of the morning... Excuse me. I haven't been up to catching something at this point. Not good. Uh, not good news. More clouds throughout the rest of the morning into early this afternoon. Temperatures just barely above freezing for at least a little while. And numbers into tonight will be pretty cold thanks to the fact that we'll be losing those clouds out there. Cough temp decks for today where we measure again what we think the beverage temperature should be. Of course, your beverage, your temperature, your business. If you get a brain freeze or burn your tongue, that's your business. But for today, hot coffee. Looks like it's going to be a better idea than iced anything out there. Glorious sunrise from Kennebunkport, Maine early this morning as some of the sea gets a little bit of steam fog out there and a lot of snow on top of the sand into areas in and around the Kennebunkport coast. National Mall looking at sunrise and a little bit of snowfall out there. A lot of frost with some very cool conditions up into around the Chesapeake Bay and the Potomac area. More webcams available from the National Park System at nps.gov or hashtag find your park on Twitter. For the Almanac on the moon yesterday, we were about 69.7 of full and heading for a moonrise today at about 154. Sunrise today at 709. Sunset tonight at 504. A little later tomorrow, sunset will be at 505, giving us about 9 hours, 55 minutes plus for anything involving daylight. Precipitation yesterday, dry. We are behind for the year and the month by an equal amount since we just started a brand new year and a brand new month, so not looking at too much in the way of major drought possibilities just yet, but we could definitely use some more rain, and we are going to be picking that up with no problem. Temperatures yesterday, 13 degrees, 20 degrees below our normal. 24 degrees was our high temperature in Memphis, fairly close to where we forecast, but that's 25 degrees below normal for the this time of the year, and we're 50 degrees below our record high temperature, which was last set back in 2008 of 74 degrees. Rest of the forecast through the rest of the day, the gray colors that you see coming in from the upper areas of the upper left-hand corner of your screen, this is going to be, again, the possibility of more clouds starting to make their way into the Mid-South, and that is going to be, again, the possibility of just a little bit of cloud cover out there, but not by much. Mixing in with the sunshine through about mid to late morning. Maximum temperatures today may be getting just above freezing at best, but that's going to be about it, and temperatures through the evening hours dropping off pretty well as those clouds that we had across the area begin to depart back toward the east and continue that direction so not that much left over in the way of clouds by news channel 3 at 10 or as we go toward daybreak tomorrow morning winds out of the south at about 5 to 10 miles an hour and numbers again throughout the rest of the forecast 
into tomorrow will be a little bit warmer thanks to those southerly winds but we start to see also the possibility of maybe some rain chances making their way into the mid-south as we go toward late monday evening and around early tuesday morning that's the first possibility of some scattered showers in the forecast not for today though dry across the area temperatures right around freezing and that's going to be about it cold and dry as we get into around the early morning hours tomorrow with temperatures back in the mid-20s and also seeing a few more clouds into Monday night. More clouds, more showers across the area for Tuesday, including to and from work and school. And then getting into the seven-day forecast entirely back into the mid to upper 60s, well above normal for this time of the year. By the time we hit around Wednesday through the rest of the week into the weekend, temperatures will be back into the mid 50s and lower 50s as we head toward the holiday next week for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Unfortunately, yesterday it was looking a lot of sunshine. Today, unfortunately, we see again the possibility of more rain as we look for the forecast for the day of service the day of volunteering for the holiday hopefully that clears up this is about 10 days away so hopefully things will change but we will be keeping a very close eye on that forecast throughout the course of the next several days so keep it tuned to news channel 3 for more information there taking a look into iraq the temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s with a decent amount of sunshine around Mosul and also the 70s down around basra 60s back toward baghdad and close to the area around Najaf, a few clouds there. Into the Persian Gulf, we've got temperatures around 80s into Saudi Arabia, 70s into around Kuwait, Doha, and Bahrain. So for anybody serving in those locations, looks like it's, again, rather on the mild side with plenty of sunshine just before sunset. Right around sunset in Afghanistan, 20s around Kabul and Faizabad, clear in Faizabad, cloudy in Kabul, lower 50s around Kandahar with a few clouds and sunny skies in Herat with temperatures in the upper 40s and back to the demilitarized zone in South Korea. Clouds and temperatures back in the lower to mid 40s across the area as Monday comes to a close around the area of South Korea. Thanks to everybody for sending in some great pictures. Deborah J54 for a sunrise through her kitchen window where it was a lot warmer there. Thanks to R Privet 22 for a great view of the snow from Henderson, Tennessee. And also looking at Susie F Homemakers, a picture from the area around Randolph in Tipton County. Got anything you'd like to tweet to us? A underscore WREG3. Don't forget to tune in for our complete forecast on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And don't forget about our weather app as well. Go to your particular app store, search for WREG Weather, and download our weather app for your particular platform today. Another check of your forecast coming up throughout the morning on Daybreak, also on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10 later on this evening, and throughout the rest of the week with Tim, Jim, and Todd. Again, nothing major heading our direction, but we will be watching for the potential of anything coming our way, so stay tuned for more on that. And any questions or ideas, anything you'd like to see on here, let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend for updates on news, weather, and sports.